Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. This session is the beginning of a new topic that is periodontal ligaments. So what we are going to cover in this session? In this session, we will discuss the definition of the periodontal ligaments. We will discuss the functions of the periodontal ligaments. We will also discuss like what are Sharpie's fibers and at the end, we will discuss the cells that are present within the periodontal ligament space. So watch this video till the end. Periodontal ligaments are the soft connective tissue that are present between the cementum and the bone lining the tooth socket. So this is a longitudinal section of a tooth. This is a diagram of the longitudinal section of the tooth. In this picture, you can see these are the periodontal ligaments. Well, there are some periodontal ligaments that are or that originate from cementum and they insert into the adjacent tooth. While some of the periodontal ligaments, they also originate from, cement, uh, from the alveolar bone and they also insert into the gingiva. We will discuss the details of these groups of periodontal ligaments in our upcoming lectures. So the periodontal ligament fibers, they are mainly type 1 collagen with smaller amount of type 3 collagen as well. So the collagen fibers in the PDL, they are arranged in bundles. So each individual fibers, they are arranged in bundles. These fiber bundles, they are they, they are rope like appearance so fiber bundles are like a rope in which the individual fibrils are present so during remodeling these the individual strand or the individual fibril is remodeled but the overall fiber bundle maintain its form and function so there's a term that is known as Sharpie's fiber. So most of the PDL fibers, they are embedded on, on one end into the cementum and on the another end into the alveolar bone. So for example, like this. So this is a picture. This is the cementum and this is the bone. So these are the PDL fibers, for example. So the, uh, some portion of the PDL fibers, they are embedded into the cementum and on the another end into the bone. So this embedded portion is known as Sharpie's fibers. So this embedded portion is known as the Sharpie's fibers. So this embedded portion is known as Sharpie's fibers, both into the cementum and into the alveolar bone. So this embedded portion is the Sharpie's fibers. So these Sharpie's fibers are either partially or fully mineralized. So this embedded portion is either partially or completely mineralized. For example, this is the section of the embedded portion of the periodontal ligament fiber bundle. So either it is mineralized at the periphery or sometime it is completely mineralized. What are the functions of the PDL? So PDL, it performs a number of functions. Uh, the main function of the periodontal ligament is it support the tooth in the socket. It also withstand the forces of mastication there are numerous sensory receptors that are closely associated with the PDL periodontal ligaments. So uh, that's why PDL has a sensory function as well. There are numerous cell families uh, that are associated with the PDL and those cells may differentiate into specialized cell types like they may differentiate into cementoblast, osteoblast or they may differentiate into fibroblast. Cells in the PDL space, they secrete factors that regulate the mineralization. 
So such as the fibroblasts, they secrete some factors that regulate mineralization. And due to this regulation, and this regulation of mineralization, it prevents the fusion of cementum with the bone. And this condition is known as when there's a fusion between cementum and bone, we call it as ankylosis. So basically, cells in the PDL, they prevent uh, this fusion of cementum with the alveolar bone because of some factors that are released by the cells, for example, by the fibroblasts. Now we will discuss different cell families uh, that are present within the PDL space. So number first uh, cell family is are the fibroblasts. So fibroblasts are the main cells that are present in the greater number in the PDL. So these are the principal or the main cells of the PDL space. Fibroblasts are associated with formation of uh, basically formation of collagen fibers but at the same time they have another functions uh, that is the degradation function of collagen so it has a dual function like at the same time it helps in the formation of collagen and it also degrade the old collagen fibers when required there is in, when there is increased expression of matrix metalloproteinases during periodontal disease this may lead to a uh, destruction of the collagen fibers. So MMP, matrix metalloproteinases, which is non normally expressed by the fibroblast during normal degradation, but overexpression in case of disease, a periodontal disease, it may lead to fast destruction of the collagen fibers. There are some epithelial cells uh, that are present within the PDL. For example, epithelial cells in the PDL are the remnants of the Hertwig epithelial root sheath cells and these cells they are disintegrate they form as a as a result of disintegration of the root sheath during root development so these Hertwig epithelial root sheath they are uh, present close to the cementum as the cluster of strands so these Hertwig epithelial root sheath cells they basically they help they they help in the periodontal maintenance uh, as they are capable of differentiation into different cell types like cementoblast, fibroblast, and osteoblast. There are some cementum and bone cells as well uh, within the PDL. These cells are considered as a part of periodontal ligament cells. These cells have the same mesenchymal origin like the other cells of the PDL, uh, but they are present more close to the cementum and the bone. Cementoblast that is involved in the formation of cementum, osteoblast that is involved in the formation of the alveolar bone. There are some resorptive cells in the periodontal ligament space like odontoclast uh, that basically resort the cementum, uh, or sometimes referred as the cementoclast. There are resorptive cells of the bone. Uh, they are also present within the PDL uh, space and we call them as osteoclast. There are some undifferentiated cells also known as the progenitor cells. They are located around the blood vessels or we may call it as perivascular cells. These cells are the source of new cells for the PDL as this deletion of the old cells uh, by programmed cell death. So these uh, progenitor cells they differentiate into any cell type so, uh, as the old cell they are deleted by programmed cell death also known as apoptosis so thank you very much for watching uh, do give us your feedback in the comments uh, stay blessed thank you